Alright, going ahead and warning you now that this video has spoilers. That's right, I'm warning you now, there's spoilers in this video. This is a spoiler review, because the movie has been out for a couple months now, so those who really cared about it should have seen it by now. So yeah, it's spoilers. It's gonna be on DVD this month, so just wait until you see it on DVD to check out this review, because it's a spoiler review. Woo! Anyways, here we go. Coco is about a young Mexican boy named Miguel who desperately wants to be a musician. But there's just one problem. His family hates music thanks to his great-great-grandfather who was a musician, leaving his family to pursue his musical career. His family's wild hatred of music leads Miguel to run away as well to pursue his musical career. But he needed a new guitar since the other one kinda got destroyed, so he stole the guitar of Ernesto de la Cruz, who he believed to be his great-great-grandfather at the time. But of course, stealing from the dead cursed him and trapped him in the land of the dead. So now he has to find a family member so he can gain their blessing and continue his musical career. Now, people comparing this movie to the Book of Life is kind of a dead horse, but I'll go ahead and explain it anyways. The only similarities is that they're both about musicians who go to the land of the dead on Day of the Dead. That's it, because... Oh man, can't have two Day of the Dead movies even though there's like a billion Christmas movies about Santa Claus. But yeah, they really are different. Book of Life is about nothing more than a petty love triangle and it kind of annoys me as cool as the art style is. Coco though, fully embraces the spirit of Dia de los Muertos. It actually has a story to tell about family and remembering lost ones and oh, it's so good! I'll go ahead and tell you right now that this movie milked so many tears out of me and it earned every last one of them. It didn't cheat them out of me, like some other Pixar movie, but I'll get to that on another day. Don't get me wrong, Coco isn't perfect either, it has its fair share of problems too. For example, Miguel's grandmother really gets on my nerves as a character. She hates music the most, and it's just downright hard to watch because of how cruel she can be. <gasps> no! Mama! I mean, even when Miguel returns home, she's not happy. She gets angry because she sees that he has a guitar in his hand. The dude ran away and people thought he was going to be gone forever. Why are you so angry? I know she softens up at the end of the movie, but that's like the last eight minutes. It doesn't excuse how she behaved before all that. There was also a little bit of nonsense in the plot. For example, the scene where we find out how Hector died. I mean, De La Cruz just thought it would be a good idea to have a movie with a scene based on a real-life murder he committed, and that very scene just happened to be playing on a monitor when it needed to be. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thought that was kind of dumb. And last problem, the movie's also a bit predictable. The very moment where Miguel thinks Ernesto de la Cruz is his father is the same moment where we realize, um, no, he's not. Because it just happened so soon in the movie, and we're used to all these twists in Disney and Pixar stuff now. And then of course there's the fact that Miguel's great-great-grandfather's picture is ripped out of the family photo on the ofrenda, and Hector just happens to not have a photo on any ofrenda. Gee, I wonder how hard it is to put two and two together there. But those are the only problems I have with the movie, and they're very, very small problems too, so they don't matter too much. For example, Miguel's grandmother isn't even in it that much, the plot nonsense stuff only happens once or twice, and predictable plots are fine as long as they're executed well, and oh man, did this movie execute it well. Everything in Coco's story is just paced so nicely, and despite it being longer than the average animated film, not a single moment felt like filler. Not to mention the movie is animated beautifully. The Land of the Dead has never looked better. The colors, the creatures, the scale of the world, it's all just amazing to look at. There's never a boring moment. The songs in this movie are also fantastic. They're a bit short, but when they come, they really hit you hard. Especially the main theme of the movie, Remember Me. I just love how that throughout the movie, the context of Remember Me changes, and it grows more and more humble. It starts out as this super popular grand song by a musical star. But by the end of the movie, it's this soft, calming lullaby that Miguel is singing to his great-grandmother. Oh, just everything is so good! If it weren't for those few problems I had earlier, this would have my highest score possible, an A++. But because of those few dumb plot moments and the fact that Miguel's grandmother is a terrible person, it has to go down just a bit, but not too much. Coco is still an A-plus movie.